hello everyone my name is queen b line back to you with another video this video is pertaining to the recent disappearance of college student tajay baker of brooklyn when she recently took an art job in washington dc and has not been seen or heard from since may 1st 2022 you will hear from her mom and local council members on how to treat missing persons as it pertains to black people. It hasn't been seen in more than a month. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. Welcome back, I'm Maurice Dubois. The mother of 23-year-old Tajay Baker says her daughter vanished after accepting a job offer online and traveling to another state. Her mother has been looking for her ever since. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge has the latest. My baby is out there. May 1st was the last time Taquana Baker says she saw her daughter, 23-year-old Tajay Baker, who she says took a bus from Wortman Avenue, where she lives, to Washington, D.C. for a weekend art job. She just did a pop-up shop, an art pop-up shop. She's very humble. She's the sweetest person. Her mother says Tajay is an art major in college. These drawings are from her Instagram page. She says she was asked to go to D.C. to design posters for a woman she met online. But after she boarded the bus, her mother says her daughter went silent. For somebody to lure my daughter into another state, I have to deal with this, and this is going to affect my daughter's life forever. Her mother filed a police report, and Crime Stoppers put out a request for information describing Tajay as five foot seven, weighing 130 pounds, with black hair and brown eyes. Tajay's mother decided to make her own posters, which she has been hanging up around the city as well as in the Washington D.C. area. I'm going through abandoned buildings walking through alleyways. Baker says she's been searching for her daughter herself and obtained surveillance video that she says is Tajay pacing in a nail salon in Maryland. But when she got there, she was gone. We want someone to look at these cameras and get to the bottom of where she went. Tajay's story caught the attention of local council members who say they want to improve how missing persons cases are handled. On a missing persons bill, they don't register black people as quickly as they do white people. So when a white person's missing, the whole world stops. When black people are missing, oh, she'll be calling back because she might be out partying. Baker says her daughter was in a good physical and mental state and usually calls and texts her every day and has never disappeared before. In New Lots, Brooklyn, Natalie Dudridge, CBS. As you've heard, Taji and her mom always talked and texted every day, and she's been silent since May 1st, 2022. These are my thoughts. Why weren't we, as the public, notified earlier once she was reported missing? We need to address that immediately number two social media is a medium where opportunities are given to everyone and sometimes persons see will see your talent and gifts and unfor and unfortunately may use it against you to harm you. I hope they find the woman that allegedly wanted Tajay to do the artwork for her because she is a critical piece into finding this young lady. She was in her last semester of college. As you've heard, she was doing pop-ups to expanding her brand. So I would like for the media and authorities to treat missing persons as a criminal case. If lawmakers put into place into treating missing persons 
cases as criminal cases. Predators and human traffickers will think twice. But because we live in a society that neglects black people and treats black people and black children as runaways, weaponizing their background or social economic backgrounds at times against them into why they sh- they are not a priority that's a problem and this is why we have to be vigilant if you see something say something these are these missing persons could be our daughters, sisters, brothers, fathers even. And we need to have conversations with our children and our family members about these matters. Because if we don't do it, trust me, mainstream media ain't going to do it. Believe that. I want us to be safe and sound. I will leave links into toll free numbers on missing persons. Please be safe and I want us to bring these missing persons home safe and sound. Thank you. Be blessed and be safe. Thank you.